Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I wanted to share with you a hat pattern that I made for June in a few months when she's bigger. <laughs> but it's a free pattern, and I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. But I did alter it, so I will talk about that. But it's called Pumpkin Hat. <laughs> I think it's called Pumpkin Hat uh, All Sizes or something like that. By Crochet 365 Knit 2. Uh, and it was a free pattern, like I said. And I used a G hook and an H hook, which is a four millimeter and a five millimeter. And the yarn I used is all red heart. So here's that. I made her a pumpkin. <laughs> it's big because it's for her in a few months. Well, like October <laughs> when we go to the pumpkin patch. That's my idea. If it's hot, um, you know, it'll just be for pictures. But if it's cold, cool, then we can have a hat. <laughs> but uh, so the, the yarn is red heart, pumpkin, spring green, and this is uh, coffee. And yeah, I just think it's a cute hat. Now the pattern is written differently than I did it. <laughs> um, this one, I did uh, front post double crochets and then a regular double crochet, I think. And then I altered that around to give it like a ridge look. The pattern, it has you alternating each stitch so that it looks more, um, instead of lines, it's like the whole thing has front post on it. So like one row you would do front post, regular front post, and the next row you would do regular front post, regular. So. Uh, and I did like the way the original hat looked, but once I actually started making it, I just liked, I liked the idea of ridges better. So I did do ridges. <laughs> and then I also, I just did as many rolls as I thought would be good. I kept trying it on her head. And then the brim, <laughs> they did a, another like front post, back post type um, ribbed looking brim. But I just went with single crochets. I just did a, like three rolls, I think, of single crochets. So uh, I started using their pattern, but then I kind of did my own thing for the hat. But I did follow the pattern for the um, the leaves, except they worked their leaf into a chain loop. Like they made, I think, four chains and then made it into a circle. I did, they would love to hole, a big hole. So I just, I chained up the amount of chains it said. And then I worked the stitches into the chain on either side so that it would be solid. And then I added the curly cue. It wasn't part of the pattern. But yeah, so I kind of, I used their hat basically as an inspiration and to start. I did like the first five or six rows as their pattern and then I just kind of wing the rest of it <laughs> but I like it and I can't wait to use it for her I made Jesse a pumpkin hat too the year that he was a baby um it was 2016 and he was I think five months in October that year I think so <laughs> and uh yeah because I think he turned six months uh no oh, goodness. on uh November 1st that year she'll be are you okay she'll be I think eight months Almost nine months. Right, let's see her. July, August, September, October. She'll be nine months on Halloween. But um, October she'll be eight to nine months. Anyways, this is a hat that will fit her at that point. It'll be bigger on her now. <laughs> but I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I'll link the pattern down below. And again, I altered it. So if you follow the pattern exactly, it'll look different. But I like the idea of just it being ribbed. I just thought it was really cute. And I wanted the curly cute because it's cute. It looks like the vine. But I like it a lot. I think it's going to be adorable. Next, I want to make her a turkey hat. I also made Jesse a turkey hat the year that he was a baby. Um, so he was almost seven months on Thanksgiving that year. She'll be 10 months, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be 10 months old. So I'll have to make her a bigger hat. I already found a few patterns that I might uh, take different parts from to make a turkey hat with. So I'll share that when I get around to it. But I just wanted to hop on here and share that with you. I've also been working on my sweater a lot. Actually, I got a lot of work done on it and then I ripped out a whole bunch of it and redid it. So right now I got the body of it together. So it's already sewed together. There it is. Front back panels, all the ends are woven in so far. So next I'll be attaching to do the sleeves and then I'll have to do the collar. I finished the whole body and started one of the sleeves and then when I tried it on I didn't like how short the body was. It is supposed to be a crop top but I didn't want it quite that short. <laughs> so I, I ripped out that sleeve and I ripped off all the shoulder parts and then I added 10 rows to each panel. So instead of 52 rows it's 62 and then I did, redid the shoulders and then I seamed it all back together and then I'm going to start the sleeves. So I got the sleeve holes that I got to uh, attach to and then the collar. I'm hoping to have enough yarn, but if I don't, uh, one of my friends said they have a ball of it, so um, hopefully they, I have like two and a half balls left of it, so hopefully that's enough to do the sleeves. Uh, we'll see. But I'm slowly working on that. I'm trying to get it done. <laughs> yeah. 
Dune says subscribe. <laughs> and like the video. And like the video. Thank you, bub. <laughs> you do. Anyway, so that's what I've been working on. I did also make a pattern today, but I'm gonna show that with you guys tomorrow because it's a national holiday tomorrow that I wanna share with you. And I have to make another one because Jesse wants one. So um, I'll probably sit and do that today. June's just sitting here. Look how she's got her feet. <laughs> she's got them pushed up against there. They're so cute. But yeah, so also today I, I cut out all my labels. I got a whole pile of them laying here. Cause I wanna, I wanna try to do some sewing tomorrow. I haven't had any chance to sew at all. I got a few bags I want to try out this coming week, and then I also got other. That's the new fabric, but I got fabric behind y'all that I was gonna work on next. Um, I'm just behind on my schedule, <laughs> but that's okay. What you doing, Dewey? She's playing with toys. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and get this guy this up for you guys because it's later in the day I haven't had a chance to record until now we had to go to the pet store and get a filter for our axolotls tank and, uh -oh. so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video bye guys